For today's ride, I'm starting in the mythical land of Yoker. Um, I'm going to be doing a full loop of the Glasgow City Council boundary. Um, it was a route to, that was kind of put together or kind of first conceived by Marcus Stitz from Bike Back in Scotland, so cheers to him for that. Um, I've made a few kind of changes to the route for myself um, just to kind of make it a bit more fun to ride based on my own experience. Um, there isn't really a kind of defined start finish point, there's no sort of particular way you have to do it. But I've decided to start here at the uh, the Yoker to Renfrew Ferry, um, just to give it a kind of defined point. And I'm going to be riding around clockwise, so um, I think it's 115k in total, roughly my route. Um, so that should take me a wee while. It is quite late in the day, it's quarter to 11, a lot later than I'd planned to get started. But um, I'm here, the weather's nice, and uh, yeah, I'm just going to get riding and see what I see along the route and take you along with me. So this is me in the first of my wee bits of uh, what I've kind of referred to as scheme hopping, basically. <laughs> the route takes you through lots of wee kind of just random housing schemes and that. Fair enough, it's quiet and it keeps you off the road, keeps you closer to the theoretical border. But it is a bit of a pain in the bum because you just end up through all these wee windy streets with loads of cars parked and stuff. But yeah, it's not too bad, could be worse. I'm um, just looking forward to getting on the good bits now. So after that wee detour I did manage to find the canal, so now I'm heading up over towards Strum Chapel. So already not too far into the ride and I'm here at one of my favourite wee parts, the Drum Chapel Way. Um, it's a lovely wee kind of gravel route um, round the back of Drum Chapel as the name suggests. Lovely bit through the woods, uh, lovely bit of trail and it's been a total lifesaver for me during lockdown so yeah, going to enjoy this little bit while it's here. So that's the Drum Chapel way done, I'm back into the houses again now, um, but unfortunately I'm going to have to do a little mechanical stop. Um, I've had a bit of an ongoing puncture over the last wee while, uh, I've had the signature uh, sealant explosion at the back of the tyre, so I'm just going to plug this up, put a bit more air into it and ride on, and hopefully that'll see me uh, to the end of the ride, we'll see. So you may have seen that wee puncture there, uh, which means I've plugged the wrong puncture, which is really annoying. Um, I've used my last plug on another puncture, uh, so I don't know what I'm going to do about that one, because as you can hear, it's leaking quite a lot of air. <sighs> I just cry, I suppose. <laughs> I don't know. So the eagle-eyed among you may notice that I'm no longer in the trail, I'm actually back in the hallway of my flat. Um, I bailed out, I decided to get the train from Western and just came back to my flat. Um, I've chucked an extra rep a replacement valve core in the tyre, plugged the extra hole with all the spare parts that I've got sitting in my flat, which I should have taken out on the bike with me. That was a bit daft. Um, but it all seems fine now. I've pumped the tyre up with a track pump, makes it a lot easier. Um, so now what I'm going to do is actually just head back out to where I started. Um, it is currently just about 25 past 1 in the afternoon. Um, it is the middle of summer, so I've got loads of daylight, the weather is good. Um, I do still have about 105k ahead of me, which is a lot of riding to do for this time in the afternoon. 
but I've done it before, um, and I'll <laughs> I'll see how it goes. This is probably going to be a miserable failure, but um, yeah, I'll I'll see I'll see what happens. All right, so that's my unplanned detour done. Uh, I'm back to where I left off with in intact tyres, uh, ready to go, ready to roll. Sun's out, it's nice and warm now, um, sweating a fair bit already, but um, yeah, I've still got another like 100k ahead of me at least, so better get cracking, get some riding done. So now in another wee kind of a hidden gem favourite of mine, this is Cairn Hill Woods here. Nice and shady out of the sun, uh, but it's a nice fun wee bit of track. That'll take me through to Dawsome and then let me connect onto the canal, which should be fun. So yeah, let's go and rip up some of the trails here and have a bit of fun. Cool, so that was fun. I'm now in uh, Dawson Park down by the River Kelvin. Uh, I can see a wee dog having a swim down there and I'm uh, kind of tempted to nip in for a wee dip. It's nice and warm but uh, I think I'll give it a miss and uh, keep pedalling. <laughs> and now we're in Maryhill Park. Up these uh, nice wide tree-lined boulevards or something like that. Well, that's me just finished coming along the River Kelvin path here between Maryhill Park and Balmore Road. And I'm just about to go up through there onto Balmore Road, which is surely one of the least fun parts of the whole ride. But, you know, it's not far till we get to Possible Lock and then onto the canal and it should all hopefully be pretty kind of easy yosey plain sailing from there. This is me at one of my wee kind of favourite curiosity sites along the road. This stone here marks the site of the, uh, the landing of the High Postle Meteorite. Which I think according to this was the, uh, the first recorded meteorite landing in Scotland. This obviously isn't the meteorite itself. Uh, that's in the Hunterian Museum at Glasgow Uni, which I keep meaning to go and see once uh, everything reopens. But uh, yeah, there you go. And bet you never thought you'd get any uh, astronomical curiosities along the ride today. Well, that was quite a fun wee bit of track around the, uh, the Postle Loch Nature Reserve. I'm now on the, uh, the Forth and Clyde Canal, and it's nice easy sailing. Uh, no pun intended there, sorry about that. Uh, that'll take me up to Bishop Briggs, where I'll turn off and uh, do a bit more kind of scheme hopping as I remember. Uh, should be, should be alright. I'll take advantage of this uh, nice easy going while it's here.
All right, so I've now come round Hoganfield Loch and I'm now into the Seven Loch Wetland Park. This is quite a nice wee bit, lots of kind of quiet, secluded uh, gravelly trails, really, really nice surface, good kind of hard packed gravel. But this is where I have had to kind of make the biggest change to the route. Um, when I rode this back in the spring, back in kind of early March, um, a lot of the trails out here were really, really boggy and minging and, you know, it just wasn't really any fun to ride. So um, I kind of skipped it through some kind of slightly more well surfaced trails to have a bit more joy. It's probably fine just now. Now it's in July, everything's dried out and it's probably rideable again. But um, yeah, I'm a bit, bit scarred from the last time. It was like a couple of miles of just like bike on the shoulder, trudging through mud. Uh, I don't have any video of that, but I will cut up some pictures, uh, some stills just to let you see sort of an idea of how crap that was. But um, yeah, it's not like that now. But <laughs> either way, I've kind of, yeah, I've decided to cut out a lot of that stuff and still keep the route as close to the city boundary as I can while still making it vaguely enjoyable to ride. Ah, oh, lovely. A nice wee roadside fly tip. Got all of some uh, classic scenery. Ah, drives you mental. Cool, so I've just passed through Drumpelier Park. I'm now here in the Monklands Canal, making all right progress. I just saw a man with some kind of eagle attached to his arm. As you do, fair enough. I think it was an eagle anyway, I'm no expert, but yeah, still enjoying it, still having fun. And one of the one things I will say about this route is it's a total disaster for broken glass. I don't know if you can see in the video there, but like, I'm amazed I still have tyres left. <laughs> um, I just had a look at my back tyre. Um, I've got another puncture there that's kind of hopefully looks like it's sealed up. Uh, quite a few kind of sketchy looking cuts in the tyre. So yeah, I'll be, uh, <laughs> I think I'll actually be lucky if I make it all the way around here. Uh, good thing I ordered some new tyres on the internet when I went home. Uh, yeah, <laughs> see how we go, see if we get there or not.
cool, so that's me just cross the River Clyde, um, which I'd sort of suggest would be make me halfway round, but it doesn't quite work like that. Um, so I'm now about to follow the Clyde along, um, and then I cross it and then cross it again uh, to take me into kind of Ruther Glen area, um, and then down towards Cathkin Braes, so yeah, nice. Right. So after just crossing the Clyde, here I am, crossing the Clyde again. I'm going to head along the north side this time, towards Stilmarna, I can cross over the new bridge at Shawfield, I think. Then at the Rother Glen, up to Cathkin Braes, and a big um, trek around the south edge of the city. Um, I think that's me about 60k into my ride, so... I could have more or less halfway. Uh, so yeah. Wind's starting to pick up now, which is sort of hard work, but also sort of nice because it's kind of cooling it down a wee bit, which is very much appreciated right now. Alright, so here I am uh, crossing the Clyde for the third time, heading from Dalmarnock over to Shawfield at this big weird wonderful Archie Bridge. Cool. So I'm now up in Cathkin Braes. Uh, following this beautiful mountain bike trail up to the top of the hill. You can maybe see the wind turbine up there. That's where I'm trying to get. But what's really good is you get an absolute beauty of a view down across Glasgow from here. Really, really lovely. Hi, just a bit of climbing to do. I think this is about the high point of the whole ride. And then uh, there's a really, really nice descent on the other side that I'm really looking forward to. Well, I've reached the wind turbine, that's the top of the hill, happy days, and now for a big fun descent. <sighs> I've made it to Lynn Park now, uh, and I'm here at the lovely wee White Bridge. Uh, one of my favourite wee kind of landmarks in this part of the part of the trail. It's a really lovely wee spot, lovely wee bridge, and it's uh, nice and calm, so you get a nice reflection in it today. And there's always uh, there's always daft dogs looking to jump in the water and all kinds of entertainment like that. But yeah, getting there, it's uh, sun's kind of coming down. It's uh, <laughs> getting a wee bit late in the day, but still enjoying it. It's still lovely out here. I should have plenty of hours of daylight left to go, so yeah, happy days. Hey, that's another motorway. This time it's the M77. What a good motorway crossing. <laughs> I've now reached the Darnley Dams, a wee tiny bit more climbing to go. Forgot there was one more kind of annoying climb to stick in the route here, but 
yeah, from here I dropped down to uh, Barheed and then hopefully it's not that far back to the back to the ferry at Renfrew. Well, I got there in the end, that's me uh, just arrived at the Yoker Renfrew Ferry or it would be if, I've, uh, if I hadn't just missed the last boat I don't know when it was, but yeah, I figured I was uh, I was quite late on the old itinerary so uh, yeah, I didn't, didn't quite make it in time for that so I'll just have to go right back the way I came to get back to my flat Yeah, over there, that's where I started this morning uh, many hours, good few punctures and one almost complete abandonment I uh, go, but yeah, I made it. It was a really nice ride, really lovely day, really noisy seagulls. Hi, nice one. So I'm now just going to go home and get myself a big greasy pizza. <laughs> <laughs>